Let's check how the new naming rules template works in Shifter. So the naming rules are on the settings on the root guide. So we just need to select the root guide and go to settings. Here we'll find a new tab called naming rules. By default, the naming rule configuration is the default one that comes with the classic MGear uh, naming template. But we can change these uh, tokens to accommodate to any way or any uh, naming template. So, for instance, I have here the arm and we have uh, two sections. The one that controls the naming rule for the controls and the one that controls uh, the naming rule for the joints. So each of these ones are uh, by default same one but you can change it in one or the other. So the token, if we hover the, the mouse you can see a little explanation for each token. So we have the component token that is the name of the component itself. We have the site, the index, the description and the extension. The description is the only one that it's, uh, let's say, hard-coded on the code of your uh, component. So you will need to go to the code of your component to change the description of each part. Like Let's say the FK control for the forearm, the upper arm, the hand, and so on. So these are the only parts that you cannot change directly from the, uh, this uh, control naming rule or join naming rule. But you, if you do it like using the code it's it's fairly easy just localize where's the name it's a simple string to change okay so let's play a little bit with this so let's say i want the extension that it's uh this uh by the way the way to put the cur uh, the tokens is with the curly brackets so we're just gonna delete there and i'm just gonna put the extension up front and the extension for the control right now you can see here extension naming we have the controls it's ctl so if you want to change to anything else like control or something like that you can do it also we can change the way that we label the side so we have left right and center and just remind that you also can leave it empty so it will not use the size uh, the side on the center component so right now we have the extension up front keep using the component name we have the side and the side for center components will be none and then we have the index and the description for the joints we leave it like it is so they just need to go here and just build from selection so we're just gonna build one arm so let's check what we have here now. So if we check the, the control, it's now con control name. So let me put the maybe channel box this is easy to, to see it here. Control arm L0 or we can go here. So every control now has been changed with the prefix for the extension name. So now it's um, control. Also if, well here we still have the left or l0 for the side and index but let me do one for let's say the spine so i'm just selecting the spine one element of the spine and just gonna build here so you can see the spine doesn't have any side it's just zero for the index so that's great so you basically can change anything you want and you can configure anything you want. Also, you can add an extra like uh, text or string that, let's say, uh, awesome bone, for instance. You can do that. So now all the all the joints will end up with this awesome bone name. So let's do it again. Just gonna use the arm as an example and build from selection. So now. All my joints are with the joint extension, you can see, it, but also with the awesome bone. And to be honest, like if you put it here on the extension, or you can use it also here, it's gonna get us the same result. So, depending because it's gonna be here on the extension that is this one. So, you can play around with this and create combinations. Um, but yeah, with a big power, it's uh, comes a big responsibility like spider-man so you can put this for instance born so now 
when I build every single joint is gonna be named exactly the same but probably this is something that you don't want and obviously with some combinations you may have some name clashing so be aware of that and use it with uh, uh, I would say carefully so you don't get this kind of uh, name clashing the rig it's gonna build always as far as I check it it's it should be working the only thing it's maybe with certain tools you will start to have some errors or mistakes like for instance the the the, the custom uh the walk uh, custom walk or custom picker uh pick walk sorry <laughs> that's it uh, that you can navigate the rig so some of them is using like some kind of uh expecting some kind of uh labeling so maybe will fail and things like that the uh, switch IKFK and things like that should be working like all the right click options but um, yeah just be aware of that that it's it's a uh, something that uh, it may break or create some kind of uh, problems later on the pipeline when you clash names the last thing here is the description I said you cannot change it it's hard code a lot so here's the FK0 but you can change the way that it's um, the letter case it's uh, used. So, for instance, some people want everything capitalized. So, we can use a capitalization for uh, the uh, description. Okay, so, and uh, that will create. This is the last time I built, for the example, this with the Opera FK. So, it can get you better results in some situations. And yeah, the arm, of course, is the arm component, so you need to change the, the name here. So if you want to have uppercase arm, this is accessible here. So you don't need to put it there. The extension is accessible there. And the index, you cannot capitalize the letter uh, numbers. And the rest, yeah, you can capitalize everything from here. So basically, you can control how, how it looks your um, naming convention. Okay, so that's it for naming conventions. See you in the next video.